All right, this is, I guess you'd say, part three. Uh, I filled up a pitcher with water just to make it easier so that uh, the camera can see what's going on and I'm not hovering over the sink with the jars. Um, start with this jar. I'm going to fill it up, fill the water up to the neck of the jar. That's really important. So we'll start off here. Just about there. All right. And we'll put a ball canning lid on the top. Make sure the gold side, you know, it, it clearly looks like the seal belongs against the, the jar and the gold is facing up. Put the ring on. Tighten it down to hand tightness. And we'll set aside here. Fill up the next jar. Now this doesn't have to be hot water or anything fancy, just tap water. You know, works just fine. We got our lid and our ring. Now the rings can be used over and over with the jars washed and reused. Uh, the lids, uh, not so much. I mean, if it's something you're going to be using pretty quickly, then sure, reuse them. But I'd recommend you just get fresh lids. And they come in their own little pack and they're relatively inexpensive. You find them in the canning aisle at Walmart is where I buy my canning jars. lid on just kind of sets on the top it's, it doesn't you know squish down or anything and then tighten the jar and as you can see that's what it looks like just up to the neck and lid and ring. And now we do this because it definitely saves a lot of money and uh, we use black beans a lot uh, in a lot of different recipes that we make meals out of. I don't know if the camera can see this. Whew. So, we might have to try it again in another video, but literally they are mainstays canning jars, uh, just the Walmart brand, and uh, th these are pint jars and they come in a 12 pack. And they come with the lids and the rings, so you don't have to worry about buying those separately.